hello hello <laughs> here we are with another squarespace tutorial uh, have you been trying fluid engine editor uh, i hope you're having some fun with it and uh, if you are completely new to fluid engine watch my previous video uh, where i give you an overview and also a mini tutorial on how to use it if you have already been using a uh, fluid engine you might already be aware of an issue that we have with responsive design. Now, responsive design is all about making sure that your website looks great on all the different uh, screen and device sizes that we have these days. Now, you probably know um, if you are in edit mode on your website in the top right hand corner, you know, we have the desktop view and we have the mobile view. And in mobile view, we can now you know, um, adjust our content blocks. We can resize them and reposition them. And that's great, you know, so that is a really nice feature. However, there is an issue when it comes to tablet size, you know, the size between the mobiles and the desktops. Um, now, let me uh, take you through this uh, step by step. Uh, there is a very nifty app uh, that I like to use for this purpose. It's called Responsively App. I'm not a, um, you know, affiliate or anything. I just really like it. I'll leave a link in the description and you can also just Google Responsively App. You have to download it, but it's really great. You know, you can actually decide which devices you want to look at. And, um, and then you just enter your um, URL and then it will show you what it looks like on the various um, de device sizes. Now, at the moment, you know, this is what we have. So here we already see the first issue that you might remember from my previous video, uh, where I mentioned that Squarespace in mobile view actually stacks the content blocks in the order that you added them. <laughs> so here, you know, I added the text block first and then I added the line block. But if I go to my mobile view, well, you know, the line block is underneath. And if I look uh, at this here now, that is exactly the same on all of these different sizes. Now, one interesting thing is that if you don't touch your, um, you know, your layout on mobile, then actually it seems to be working fine, even on the tablet view, you know, so here, you know, again, we're looking at this particular paragraph, which, um, you know, looks to be the same um, everywhere. There are no weird spacing issues. And that's what this is all about. Uh, Squarespace actually adds weird spacing. Uh, and what I have found is that this only happens once I start uh, playing around with the mobile view and actually making changes. So in this case here, I am actually making a change. You know, I am moving my line so that it is, you know, above the um, the text as it should be. And so I'm just moving this around and then I'm just going to reduce my rows again. You know, so now this looks much better. Remember, when you change things in mobile view, you can only change the position and the sizing. Don't change the content that will also change it on the desktop uh, so if you look at this now still looks fine on desktop and now this looks good on mobile too so let us save this and um, yeah this is good and now let's go back to our uh, app here and okay so here now it still looks good on mobile but now you can see it starts around the 500 pixel width it's adding these weird spaces here. What is going on there? That is just so strange. Yeah, here, look at this as well, you know. Um, so what do we do and, and why is it doing that? Now, I cannot really explain um, why it's happening. Um, it has something to do with the way the grid works and with the way that the columns and the rows they resize as the screen size changes. And that just has an impact on, uh, on the tablet view. So the easiest way to fix this I found was and um, by uh, 
you know, make sure actually make sure you are in edit mode on your page and then just drag your browser until you hit that breakpoint for mobile. So we'll drag it and drag it and drag it. And here we are. So let me actually go right here. So actually I'm gonna turn on the grid, you know, just hit the G uh, key here. And you can see our grid now has the eight columns, you know, whereas in the um, larger views, you know, you have the, um, oh, I don't even know how many columns do we have here, 24 or something like that. I've never actually counted them, you know, but it's basically when it hits the eight columns, uh, it just does something funky with the text block after we have made changes, you know, to the mobile layout of the text block. Um, it basically, um, you can see here, you know, it's made our rows and columns larger, you know, and um, so what we do is you just go into your text block and you drag it up and then you also want to, um, you know, remove all these extra rows that were created and, and that's it. Let me just turn off the grid again. So that now should work. So let's just save this. And let's go back to our app here and have a look. Yeah, and this looks much better now. Now, you know, if you are a stickler for spacing as I am, you'll see that there's still a little bit more space here at the bottom, you know, than, um, than maybe I like. And I think, uh, let me see. Oh, that's because it still has an additional, it still had an additional row here. So let me save this again and let's refresh this. Yeah, it's better now. <laughs> Spacing, I tell you, you know, that's that's like uh, <laughs> my my uh, lifetime mission is to teach how to have good spacing on your websites. Um, so, yeah, so I hope that this was helpful. So it's a fairly, you know, easy fix and um, and again, you know, Squarespace are very aware of this and I really hope that uh, we will have a better solution eventually. Thank you so much. <laughs>